what we're going to do is I've got some insect traps set out in the field and we're going to go pick up the, the traps, take out the insects that are in there, reset the traps, and then we're also going to do some sweep netting, which is some nets that you walk through the field and you sweep it back and forth and then you bring it back and dump it on a sheet and we see what you've, what you've collected. And all of these things that we do to collect insects, anybody can do them. Yeah. It's really inexpensive to set up the traps. Anybody can do it and you can find out what's living in your backyard, what, what's, what insects are living around your school and things like that. I really want to show how easy it is for everybody to feel like a scientist and be a researcher and discover all, all of this diversity that you have right here. So I'm just, I'm really glad to be here, so thank you. The aerial nets, like that one, you don't want to sweep through the vegetation because they'll get all ripped up. But these are canvas nets, and you'll go out, just walk out and sweep through the vegetation, through the plants. Okay, so here's the trap. The millipedes. And you see, you see it's all full of stuff. Look at all those insects. Look at all those insects in there. Are those all dead? Those are all dead insects and millipedes. That's a tea strainer. That's a, yeah. That is a carrion beetle. This one is actually called Necrophorus tomentosus, and it gets its name because it has yellow hairs on its back. Okay, this chicken liver is three days old, right, so get ready. Ah, does that smell good? <laughs> Doesn't that smell good? That's great. <laughs> so this is what attracts the insects to the trap. got too many bees, I think. There's a lot of them over there. There are, yes. And we've been seeing quite a bit in these last two days. So you'll see these a lot. They're, they're a little bit different than normal bees, but they're pretty, pretty important for pollination still. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Go ahead and try it again. Suck it. There you go. Now look at, is he in the bottom? I got quite a bit of bugs. Very good. Okay, so he's, ha suck, he's suck, just suck, hanging suck. around. Look at them. There he goes. Where, where <laughs> did he go on or is, oh there he's on your hand. Oh now he's on what? my hand. One with like a big stomach. Okay, what? It's the um, bugs that we all collected. There's two dead mice, there's this gray one right there, it's kinda hard to see though. Most of them are just centipedes and there's a, a black one in there somewhere. And you have something there called a pooter. A pooter. A pooter, or an aspirator. The Germans call it pooter because uh, the word poot means to aspirate in oh, German. It's an okay. automatopoeia. All right. Um, so poot, poot. Um, what you do is you take the, the rubber end, put it to your lips, and suck in really sharp. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> and it'll suck everything up through this yeah. and into here and there's a little grate that keeps them from getting into from crawling the, out in, into my the rubber mouth. yeah so you don't you won't swallow anything this way good good okay so what you do is you you put this under where you're going to beat you just just hit hit the tree mhm mm like hey bugs hey bugs hey bugs this is very sophisticated Something. all right now take a look we've Whoops. got oh all right i don't know if you'll be able to get them little crickets Grasshoppers. Those are all kind of big. Yeah, this guy, If you sometimes I'll just sit there long enough you can get a shot. Hey! I got him! It was a big spider. Yeah, it is a good sized spider. Here's another little spider, another jumping spider. Sometimes you get big things, sometimes you get little things. This isn't quite the tropics where you can fog an entire tree and get a, wow. you know, hundreds of new species. Yeah. Um, but it's enough where you can see what's up here. Yeah. So if we want to move on to another tree. I got lots of spiders and bugs in here. And we're just going to dump it right in. Very good. Okay. Nice. 
Very good. And you've just collected your insects and alcohol. This is a larva. Ooh. Yeah, so this is a caterpillar larva. I don't know if you can see it. It looks exactly like bird poop. <laughs> it does look like poop. It's got the white bit and like the runny parts. Yeah, it's even got the big solid mass right yeah. up here. And that's done by design. It's supposed to look like bird yes, poop. Yes, yes. But then they grow into bigger bird poop and bigger bird poop. And this is close to about as big as they're going to get. Um, okay. They're going to get a little bit bigger before they pupate. But these are, are swallow tails. Oh! Yeah, so those beautiful um, butterflies that yeah. you can see with those nice long tails on them. Sometimes Great. they're yellow. This is a mantis egg case. <gasps> oh! Yeah, so this is... It, even this looks a little bit like poop. Um, it's kind of hard, right? Yeah. It's like that foam when you squeeze yeah. it out and it, it tur turns into this hard mass. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what their mantis cases are like. And inside can be quite a few, um, maybe from a couple dozen to hundreds. Really? There, yeah. And they all scatter really fast because they're, they are carnivorous. They will eat each other. Oh, geez. Yeah. This is um, a type of true bug. Is he related to stink bugs? Yes. Okay. Very much so. He has full wings, which means he's a fully oh. grown adult. Adult. He's pretty big. Yeah. This polypore fungus is the like most amazing houses for beetles who like to eat fungus. Okay. It's hard on the top, yeah. but it's so moist inside still. Go ahead and open this one. This is actually relatively dry. Some of the things that you can catch through looking in these are uh, staphylinids. Here's one. Very, oh, did he jump? Or did you get them? I think I got them. Okay. Staphylinids, um, little beetles, little maggots. These are our entire ecosystems all to themselves. All in Sometimes, one fungus. Yeah. It's some giant black wasp thing. Kind of looks like an animal of death. <laughs> he probably is. Well, oh, that's not reassuring at all. He's on the under, underside of that uh, goldenrod right there. Right, let's see if we can, can get see him. see him? Yep, I see him. Whoa, there he goes. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh, you something else flew out there. Where'd he go? I see him over there. There he goes. I don't think we have anything that big yet. You see him? Wait, that's something else. That's a honeybee. Damn. No, nope, there he is. Oh, do you have the yeah. container? Yeah. See, that's why we have two different types of bags. Why didn't you just suck them up with your pooter? <laughs> you wouldn't have fed in the pooter. It still has brains on it.